Well, your first step is posturing your heart. First thing I do. <clears throat> Seeing as I am here, I am here, I am here. My eyes open here. Roll over. My wife's not in our marriage bed. Well, that sucks. Second thing. Since my eyes are open, since my eyes are open, since my eyes are open, heart is postured. Hurry up, which means I'm asking my Heavenly Father, you want me to get up? Yep, we're up. <sighs> then I immediately make the bed, but I've received my first command. When you're posturing your heart towards me, and then you feel that connection and I start speaking to you. That's because your heart is postured in a reverent, love-filled manner. Hear my Lord. <laughs> or speak, Lord, for your servant is listening and I will. Now how I'm going to do it. <clears throat> Usually... Beware of being negligent in carrying out this matter. Why should damage increase to the detriment of the kings? Then as soon as the copy of King Artaxerxes' document was read before Rehum and Shimshai the scribe and their colleagues, they went up hurriedly, 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 hurry up, Mary, to Jerusalem to the Jews and made them stop work by force of arms. Then the work on the house of God Now when the prophets use my prophets, Mary. So <clears throat> that's for my wife. I had sent her a video yesterday. Basically, Esther is being summoned for a bit. And not to be harsh, but understanding the battle that's going on in the spirit. Ask your daddy if he'll allow you to come see your husband so I can restore you. And it's harsh for a reason. When I pray for my wife, my Heavenly Father was having me watch this video, <clears throat> movie, whatever you want to call it. I have various ways to express situations that are going on in your life, meaning Mary move. And it was two lovers, and one of them, out of nowhere, attacks And my wife was part of this, but she made war on a saint. Or ignored my real prophets, my real people. And then... What it came down to is that person was being programmed and tortured and all of these things by the ruling powers of that day. And it was taking time for that person to comprehend that, to get control of their own thoughts. And um, really, except that they were lied to and programmed. So I've seen my wife and I've lived with her and I've um, asked myself many times, I have to be kind of harsh on this. Does this person have a mental illness? What I could not see is I put my prophets in front of you. I have shown you the truth. I have done this for 10 years. In this day and age, when I sit down with this generation, it's very much different than 2,000 years ago. Phones come out. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. I'll Google it. 
And if I'm wrong or off by one thing, or they perceive me as wrong, because I'm never wrong, you're not Jesus. You Google pieces of truth and opinions. How about I just put the truth in an inconspicuous, unexpected way in front of you later on throughout your day? Or you allow me to take you on the path so I could have shown you what I was trying to explain to you and you would be in awe. Continuing on <clears throat> in our path here, <clears throat> I don't rush things, I don't jump to conclusions. I'm being told one more slide. Ah. And then as you recall, this is usually Mary running. So one of the things in your kingdom marriage I was trying to explain to you, when you look from the perspective of, I'm in everlasting father mode now. Okay. Everything in creation is perfection. And it was placed here to enhance and complement your marriages, your families. Others would say, Lord, this is all there is. This is all there is going to be. I'm teaching the heavenly things here. Just the Bible and all of this, all of this will take you lifetimes to explore every facet of what you can get out of it. When you're living for pleasure, there's one type of pleasure, and there's the godly pleasure. When you don't have any guilt, because you know everything you are doing is in step with me. You are in a zone of love, protection, security, enhanced existence. Because you have eternal life and you are assured that you are known by me, first of all, and you know your God. There is none besides me. So when you have a marriage, and I couldn't really understand why do you keep getting sifted? It took a long time to build up before I said, to a friend of mine, a very dear heart person, I know this is going to hurt you, but get behind me, Satan. For you are not thinking of the will of God, the will of the flesh, the will of man. Imagine how many conversations I've had with my wife who has had seven demons more evil than itself. Come back into her. So... When you are thinking of um, transgressions and harsh words and actions that you may have taken or someone took against you, none of that really matters right now. This is the last day. You need to be focused on uh, my love being expressed through you to your spouse. That is what's going to give you the joy of the Lord right now and remaining in me as a part of the Bride of Christ. There isn't much I can um, do except, all right, if that's your daddy. I can't do anything except to let you be led to destruction by your daddy. Then it's okay. Where you're supposed to be. Remembering that you're one flesh and that your decisions are impacting your spouse.
perfect. 